Hey, 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 Cancer, this is your secret scribe here, ready to do your Monday, um, March 9th to the 10th, Intuitive Love Tarot Re, Nine of Wands. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way it's more specific to you, the information is in the description box below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. Remember, time and energy are fluid. So feel free to switch up the roles. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. As you see fit and know that this could be, well, and will be past, present, or future, right? Okay, let me get a message from Spirit here before we begin. Mm, go the distance, Cancer. I'm feeling that some of you may want to give up on something, and they're saying, don't, don't give up. Uh, now that they're giving me the song, don't give up on me, baby. Mm -hmm. Get Look up the lyrics to that song. Wow, I haven't heard that song in forever. I gotta write that down so I can look up that song. Maybe that's what I'll title it. I forget who sings it. Don't give up. Okay. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So, two nines and two twos. Isn't that the shit? Okay. So, yeah, you may have two different options here, Cancer. That's what I'm seeing. But you know which one you want to choose. Okay? One of them saying, don't give up on me, baby. So it's like, yeah, see, nine of wands. It's like you're at the end of your rope and you're tired and you're just like the wounded warrior. Like, ah, oh, I'm over this already, right? But you need to make a decision with these twos here. It may be giving you anxiety. It may be keeping you up at nights. But just decide, right? I know, easier said than done. Let's see if we can get some guidance for you, Cancer. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Four of Wands. Ooh, it may, there may have been a marriage or a commitment that didn't quite work out the way that you wanted it to. And it left you wounded. It left you hurt, right? It left scars. This could have been a twin with the 1111. Doesn't have to be. But it was a long-term relationship if it wasn't a marriage. So clarify this two of wands, clarify this two of wands, please, clarify this two of wands, oh, shit, five of cups, hang on one sec, I just had flying cards, and I'm going to take them all, they were all like face up, so I have to take them, you have the knight, the knight of cups, now, mind you, I was clarifying the two of, um, wands so clarifying this was the five of cups and it's funny as these flew out i'm thinking hmm, that's interesting the, the five of cups but makes sense with this the knight of cups the ten of cups and the high priestess okay it is totally possible that one of these individuals are hidden from the other like one doesn't know right um but it's making you sad. It's just this this whole situation. It's putting a lot of stress on you, I'm feeling. And giving you a lot of anxiety to figure out what is my emotional fulfillment. And that's what you should be asking yourself. So good question, Cancer. Who? Um, well, remember, emotional fulfillment never comes from the outside, right? But listen to your heart on this one, okay? You've got the Knight of Cups here and also the High Priestess. So make sure that you know everything there is to know about these individuals 
because somebody may be hiding something. Gemini, Pisces for me as a reader. Oh, three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Well, somebody's heart is going to be broken. That's for sure. So I'm going to clarify this high priestess though for you, Cancer. Clarify this high priestess. Yeah, three of pentacles in the Hierophant. This is indicating a third party situation. Now it could be because you're choosing between two people, but I'm feeling that one of these people also have their own third party going on, possibly with the Taurus here, with the Hierophant. It doesn't have to be, but somebody that they were, they too were committed to possibly have a spiritual connection to. This is a higher spiritual calling. This is a commitment. This is marriage or somebody that they were married to. Everybody's situation is going to be different. It could also be somebody that they work with. Okay. So clarify this nine of swords. Clarify this nine of swords for cancer, please. Clarify. Yeah. Eight of swords. Yeah. You're all wrapped up in your head. And ten of wands. I told you I felt like this was a burden. It's this, you know, you put yourself in this mental prison. I know, you know, decisions are hard, right? But try writing down the pros and the cons. That sometimes helps if you write lists, right? What are the pros? What are the cons? But then meditate on it too. You don't want to be all up in your head about it because then you're just constantly going over the pros and the cons, right? You need meditation. You need that connection to your heart. You need to be balanced in the body, mind, and heart cancer in order to make um, a very sound decision, okay? So clarify the two of pentacles. I think you already know. Eight of pentacles. In the moon card. Yeah, there's that something hidden again. But this is also indicating your intuition. You've got three nines here. So this is indicating something ending. You will come to a decision soon. Um, you're figuring out what you want to put your time into. What you want to work on. Right? For some of you, you're also focusing on your work to get your mind off of this. Which is great. But you have to set aside time specifically for this. They're saying retreat, maybe go on a mini retreat to figure this out, like a weekend retreat, even if it's like just for a day, right? Sort of a meditative retreat. This is your card, one of your cards, the moon card here, Cancer, also Pisces. Okay, so tell me about this Knight of Cups. This is a love offer, and this is the most romantic card of the deck. So... Ooh, again, a lot of cards, Cancer. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Tower. Wow, we have the Magician, the Hermit, and the Devil. Holy shit, Cancer. Give me a moment. This is all clarifying the Knight of Cups. Ah, and, and the Devil is right on top of the Knight of Cups. The tower is right next to the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it's just um, one of these relationships is a very toxic relationship, a codependent relationship. <sighs> yeah, you're walking away from something after some inner reflection and you're bringing the tower down, man. You're bringing the tower down. Perhaps you're bringing it down on this devil. One of these relationships. Because you have the magician here. The card of Gemini. You're manifesting what you want. You're manifesting your emotional fulfillment. For sure. You're making a decision. And I feel like this devil is trying to tempt you. Possibly with um, sex. As the devil does. Okay, so what is your advice for cancer, please, regarding this decision? Now, this could be swapped as well. Somebody could be making a decision between you and somebody else, and you're not aware of it. Or maybe you are. Or if this doesn't resonate at all, then don't make it fit. Justice. This is being fear. Yeah, meditate. Peace out. 
Peace the fuck out, Cancer. Meditate. Use your intuition. Also, a twin flame card of mine. But this is more balance yourself out, okay? This is also karmic balance. So your decision um, is key in somebody's karmic justice. Mm -hmm. So you're going to make the decision. You're going to bring, this is you bringing out the tower. Bringing down the house, Cancer. You're bringing down the house, Cancer. All right, Cancer, I hope this resonated. Uh, please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. Also, hit that notification bell. And if you're interested in a personal reading, uh, information down in the description box below. Thank you so much, and have a fantastic day.